so we have a purchase order now with purchase order we got advanced shipping notification and with advanced shipping notification we have a inbound delivery created the first information which will be having from this inbound delivery is it would be having a final and accurate quantity and the date which we are receiving from the vendor so uh, earlier we have seen that the vendor has sent us the confirmation right that he would be able to send 100 on 20th of february by advanced shipping notification he said that you know that i am able to send you 200 on 20th of february the actual quantity which is coming is 200 so that quantity that need to be updated in in this inbound delivery and he can also mention how many trucks are coming for it whether it's coming from one truck is coming from two trucks okay and what are the different materials are coming there can be the, the same vendor can send the multiple different purchase orders uh, materials into a single delivery so that also you will be able to come to know that in a truck when you are receiving it what are the different materials you are receiving it okay so that would be having a final accurate information that what quantity you are getting it and what date it would arrive to you. There can be up and minus. You can say that, okay, now the truck will reach on 21st. One day difference will come. So that accurate information would be coming to you as inbound delivery. Okay, so when this inbound delivery you have received, you will be having this accurate information. With this accurate information, you would be able to plan your warehouse for sure. And this inbound delivery has a lot of other information. You can put it. You can put the driver, you can put the truck details, and you can put n number of other details by which you would be able to track and monitor. You would be able to track and monitor that how this delivery is coming, what are what is the truck coming, what is the gross weight, what is the net weight of the delivery, all these things you would be able to plan it, you would be able to track it, you would be able to monitor it. When we say that you would be able to plan your warehouse means to manage the warehouse, we have advanced systems like EWM, extended warehouse management. So the EWM system use this IBD inbound delivery to create the warehouse tasks so in that case if you are having an ewm implemented inbound delivery would be a very important document to connect with the ewm extended warehouse management the information which is passed to the ewm system is passed generally through the ibd we don't pass it from the purchase order we don't pass it from the purchase order. Why we don't pass it? We can pass it, but we don't prefer to pass it. Why we don't pass it from the purchase order? Because there's so much of uncertainty is there. In the purchase order, whatever the dates and the quantities we have, there's uncertainty. In EWM, you need to manage your manpower. You need to manage your handling units. You need a forklifts. You need uh, uh, lifts, okay? You need a crane to unload the material. So these handling units you need to mention, you need to have a manpower who would be getting the material out from the truck, first storing it into the intermediate location and then deconsolidating it, then putting it into the right bins. For that, you need to plan that how much of manpowers would be required, how much of handling units would be required. You have a docking doors. How many docking doors where the truck comes and get attached and then you get the material out. How many docking doors you need to plan? All these things you need to have accurate information that we get it from the inbound delivery, not from the purchase order. Purchase order can have a 20 materials in it, but all the 20 materials are not going to come. Only three materials are coming in a specific quantity on a specific date. So that accurate information, we would be able to get it from the inbound delivery. Okay. The other reason why the inbound deliveries are used or can be utilized is if you say, Ki boss, 
I also want to manage my transportation. Not a very common scenario in the inbound movements, but we have seen that scenario also. Where basically from this vendor, vendor will say that, okay, my material is ready. It's ready for dispatch. For that, he has created an inbound delivery. And the truck planning, we need to plan the truck. We need to send the truck to the vendor premises. He need to bring it and bring the goods to us. So generally, when we order the material, we also expect or we have in quote terms that the vendor need to deliver it till, till our door. Okay, vendor need to supply it. But in some conditions, we would be managing, we'll say that the vendor freight is very high and we can manage our freight better. So we have our freight providers who would be going, picking the materials and bring the truck in. So for that, to plan these trucks, okay, that which truck, which uh, when, which uh, freight forwarder, 20 ton truck, 40 ton truck, 20 feet, 32 feet, 16 feet, uh, how, how much a big vehicle or small vehicle we need to send, we need to do the transportation planning that covers in the TM module. That is your SAP TM module. This TM module also require a uh, input from inbound delivery. Although from purchase order also we can give the input, but again in the purchase order, there's a lot of uncertainties there. Where the material we will get it, will not get it, the dates can be changed, the all the line items will not get it. So the formed requirement we get it. When vendor said that material is ready for me to dispatch, then you say that, okay, this material need to be picked on this particular date from vendor. That information you have, the accurate information you have in IBD. This IBD then can integrate with your SAP TM modules and you can do your freight plannings. This scenario we have used and uh, delivered in one of the cl client in South Africa, where basically they plan their trucks from the uh, to pick it the materials from the vendor. So we need IBD information. So IBD need to be created based on the advanced shipping notification from the vendor that material is ready with him. And then we have an inbound delivery. We have inbound deliveries which we use it to plan the trucks in the TM. Okay. So it can also use to plan the freight planning. For the freight planning, also we can use it transportation planning or the warehouse planning. Or the monitoring and tracking. So, what advantages we are getting it from the inbound delivery? We are getting better monitoring. We are getting tracking. We are getting accurate information. We are getting accurate information of. Uh, the uh, the stock and the material which we will be receiving it. We would be able to better plan because this dates would be adjusted. The dates which we have in IBD would be adjusted in, uh, in your MRP. So we'll be able to better plan sales or production. We would be able to plan Warehouse management, AWM integration will be able to do. We will be able to plan our transports. If we are managing the transports, we will be able to integrate with the module called TM. TM module we would be able to integrate. So these are the basic benefits which we'll be getting it from the inbound delivery. These are the prawns. But there are also cons also. There are also the drawbacks of using inbound deliveries. Okay, what are the drawbacks of using inbound deliveries? The drawbacks of using inbound delivery is it's an additional transaction. There's an additional transaction we need to do it to create an inbound delivery. Okay, somebody need to punch that information in the system 
and create the inbound deliveries. Although it gives the better tracking, better monitoring, but we need to create the, create the inbound delivery. And we also have a vendor dependency. Vendor need to provide the information. If vendor is not giving you information, you don't have any uh, uh, right communication channel or vendor is not providing you the proper information. When the material is ready, when the material is ready for dispatch, then how you will be creating IBD, okay? How you will be creating IBD. In some cases, the IBD is used not only for that purpose, IBD is also sometimes used a two-step process of receiving. Sometimes we have seen that when the material come at the port, the people create an inbound delivery to have information, okay, in port we have got the material. In some cases, the plant is very huge. So when the uh, material is arrived at the main gate, there they create an inbound delivery to have a two-step control process. Also, the, the inbound deliveries can be used. That is also I have seen in some projects, they have used it as a two-step receiving process. They are creating inbound deliveries. Okay, but this would be the drawbacks. The additional transaction will come and vendor dependency will come. Uh, vendor need to provide the information. So in which case you would be consulting your client, ki boss, go for PO and GR or go for PO, IBD and GR. That is an important question you need to understand. Now you understand the uh, pros and cons. If we have a TM, if we have a EWM systems, then we'll have to go with IBD. Okay, we need to say that IBDs need to be created. If EWM is not there, if TM is not there, your warehouse is not that big, which is very difficult to plan. Your work powers, your lifts, your forklifts, everything uh, remain as same, whatever the material you are receiving it. You have a big yard. If the, if the vendor came, he would be able to wait for six to or eight or 10 hours to get the truck unloaded. That is not a big problem for you. Then the inbound deliveries is not required. You are not bothered about much of the monitoring, much of the tracking is not required. Then inbound deliveries are not required. Okay. Wherever we try to create inbound delivery, we also try to say that from this main vendors, we create the inbound deliveries. And we can have also the automatic integration with them that they send us the EDI messages, which we get convert through the IDOCs and the inbound deliveries are created automatically. Okay, so this inbound deliveries, it is not like that in your organization, there is a process POGR or in your organization, there is a process POIBD GR. For the specific materials from the specific vendors, you can have a purchase order inbound delivery and GR. And for the specific vendors, you can have a purchase order in GR. Okay, your very regular vendors, which, you, which provide a lot of materials, which provide a critical materials, we try to have a link with them with where basically they can send us the information with electronic messages with EDIs, which goes in our PI system. And we have an automatic IBD created in our system. In that way, this additional transaction drawback, we try to get over with the additional development, which will be coming in RISFW. It would be interface we need to develop. With developing that interface with our regular vendors and with the critical material providing vendors, we would be having this automated information coming to us and inbound delivery would be automatically created in our system through the IDOCs, okay? But if that kind of things are not there, we don't have a, a proper in communication channel where basically vendor is passing the information that this is material, they are dispatching it. The material receiving, we already have a lot of stock maintained. We have a 30 days, 60 days of stock maintained. If material receives after two days or after three days also, we don't have a problem. Warehouses are not big. Transportation, we need not to plan. Then we can skip IBD. Then we can see, bhaiya, purchase order create karo. And against the purchase order, you can do the GR. The Whatever the vendor confirmation you need, you can get it through the vendor confirmations, not through the IBD. Okay, you can create a vendor confirmation. So IBD is an additional document. Separate document is there. And the vendor confirmation, we can put it under the purchase order itself. 
whenever vendor is confirming on the phone, okay, I would be able to dispatch that or I would be able to only provide that in that date and quantity. That can be updated by your uh, procurement guy in the purchase order. Okay, so that is the prawns. What is the benefits of inbound delivery? What can be the constraints to implement inbound delivery? I hope with this information, you would be able to consult better your clients that whether they need to go for PO GR process or whether for the specific vendors, for the specific materials, we can go for PO IBD GR. If you're going for PO IBD GR, what are the things we need to check it out? What are the automations we need to think to build it, build it for this process? You should also be able to consult them.